and all of us are correct we've been watching for two years and now we have an official 8.0 quake ladies and gentlemen uh, I'll give you the address and everything like that on it as you see it here on the map officially back over here go to USGS and it's official USGS it's got an 8.0 magnitude quake uh, check out the tsunami information real fast I'm going to pop this up Let's see what the Pacific Ocean one says about it this will be all preliminary uh, I was just uh, in my chat group and I went ahead and uh, so there we go there's your exact location mm, this island is uh, Santa Cruz Islands, we've been seeing a lot of action, we've been hammering and hammering and hammering there, and now we're getting 8.0. So, uh, but I'm going to go and see what we also have from the, the one that I like to rely on a little bit more, because USGS, and then uh, this will probably upload after, and pay attention to the other two videos I got today, uh, because basically, uh, it all comes from outer space and uh, the weight that we have with the magnetical connections with the sun right now and where the earth is at and it's also going by some planets that are moving clockwise not counterclockwise like all of the objects planetoid planets in our solar system that we know of they're in our solar system and they're moving clockwise and I've got proof of it shown and off the Soho footage today so go check that out so we'll back screen through this There you go, 8.0 USGS, and I'll also pull up, and we'll go back real fast because I didn't even read the, uh, the message that we got, what we got for a tsunami warning, and it's preliminary, remember, I'm not, the warning, and so we'll go ahead and open one up. ATC time would be the closest. Santa Cruz. Tsunami Island. Solomon Islands, Bonadu. A lot of islands. Fiji. You can read them all right there. Saying there's a watch, it's none. Warning, click to read. It's only earthquake ventilation. But this is your estimated times if there would be one. So if anybody is watching down there, I do have overseas. I have a lot of viewers, plus ladies and gentlemen, don't ever watch, pay attention to the counts that I get. So there's all the times. Wake Island, Cook Islands, American Samoa. So it's under American rule there, American Samoa, ladies and gentlemen. People don't realize this. That's our other Puerto Rico that we have, okay? So. And we'll issue products from those areas, so we'll go take a look at that real fast too. So this is official right off from USGS, so those are all those times and coordinates so that they'll hit. If there is a tsunami, that's the computer generated times that it would hit your area. And those are the areas and the times to the right. February 6th, okay? And that's Zulu time, so that's basically 1.45 Zulu and so on and so forth. This would be like 424 Zulu, which is UTC, GMT. I'm not sure if winter time right now if we're separate, but I mean Zulu time is military time from Greenwich, England. 648 something Zulu. So that one. Tsunami warning is in effect for Solomon Islands. Tsunami watch is in effect for Marshall Islands. And on through, I'm not even going to read it. You can see it. Okay, so if anybody's 
got internet or GPS or it's getting a satellite telephone or telephone internet service and you're down there sailing the seas in the Pacific, uh, you've got problems. So uh, we'll go back and hit the, uh, we'll hit going on with the Hawaii on it. No more current warning. And that basically be the same one, would be that one there. These are the other quakes, okay? So, and the other dates, so we're interested in everything that's going on. The six right here with that eight point quake. Go back. Okay, I'll pop this up on the internet. So, eight point oh quake, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm offered to hit the U.S. information. The Santa Cruz Islands are way down by New Zealand, so it pretty much should be safe. And that's what they're telling you here, too. Papua New Guinea area. Okay. North New Zealand. That's right quite. So. That's the older information. And basically. Uh. There's your message right there, no watch warning by the U.S. area. So, because basically that's the West Coast Alaska one that I just hit. Okay, and the international one will do the same. So, 8.0 quick. You know, black folks, and I'll give you one more set of information on data on it. And remember, it had 6.3 earlier on it, 10 kilometers deep in the depth, and the depth was only 5.8 on the 8.0. Okay. So quite shallow. We usually see uh, Solomon Islands and Fiji and stuff like that major depth. So the idea that uh, this might not be quieted down yet, especially since we've been seeing Santa Cruz hammer and hammer and hammer in the last week. Okay. So, pay attention to both the space uh, ones that I have. And remember, this is magnitude of the quake, okay? Actually, you click on that for the map of them. So, as you see, we've got a hell of a bunch of quakes. And it's been going that way for quite a while. That was over in Japan a few days ago. On the second. So, like I say, we were busy for a little while, and the third and fourth was quiet. And then it was heavier before that. And watch the two space... And it's all connected. Space weather gives you what you get here on Earth, and you'll see why, since the Earth is so light right now, and I'll even show you footage from Soho, so watch my two space videos today, okay, because all these quakes are going on. I even have some information on the United States quakes that have been going on recently on that, too. So, let's go check this huge 8.0 quake out on the international thing and see how high it actually got, because USGS usually squashes stuff. So, 8.0 no matter what. No matter what, at 52 kilometers deep, it had an 8.4 in the Santa Cruz Islands, okay? And there was a lot more than before that. Siberia, Russia had a 6.6 .6 before that. And I'll slide over here a little bit. So, major uptick and as I was showing on my space videos earlier I've got one that's uploading now and then there's going to be another one too that I have to upload I'll upload this first and there at Santa Cruz Islands a bunch of 8.0s 8.2 at one kilometer deep okay and then if as you see it followed up with that 8.4 so and it was way deeper than even the five kilometers that USGS already agrees to and so historical 8.0 I'll just scroll down the rest of the data here for the day. I showed the 5.1 in Argentina earlier on the footage, so I'm not going to stop there for that right now. I showed that in an earlier video. And we get up here to the 8.4 Santa Cruz Islands, and as you can see, it increased. And this is our most recent. 
And this is always refreshes, so I gotta hurry up and get down here before 8.4 Santa Cruz Islands. You can see it right there. 52 kilometers deep. Okay, and then they have 10 kilometers, 20 kilometers on the other ones. And then uh, it went kind of low with these ones here. And then it had all this stuff here. So as you can see, the map automatically refreshes. I'll hurry up and get down here, and then I'll hurry up and upload this. So, and the graph should be crazy too. I'll hurry up and pop the graphs on here on this video. And they should be going crazy off this action from Santa Cruz Islands, north of New Zealand there, ladies and gentlemen, 8.4 quake. So, as you can see, USGS always kind of squashes, because they've got this information too, okay? USGS has got this information. They're going off of what that 8.0 that happened down here. They went it was 15 kilometers deep, and then they pretty much had to admit to it. And then they're seeing this 8.2 here at 1 kilometer deep. They pretty much have to take that 8.0. So, now you can really see how the earthquake action is really going on, and how it's pretty much getting squashed all over the, well, basically North America. And 5.1 down in Argentina today, so... All right, so let me go to the graphs, and then we'll pop this on the internet. And whether they have it behind or on time, let's go see what USGS has got on graphs right now. Like we say, sometimes it gets interrupted for service, and I would say right now that unless we start seeing a lot of ink, I would say that it's interrupted right now. Because you can see all the information that we're getting from the Europeans, so I'd say more than likely could end up even with some satellites uh, you know basically uh, Australia there is the beginning of it right there with being able to pick it up some charter towers Australia started picking it up and then more than likely Guam Mariana Island started picking it up but with that being an 8.0 and how we've seen the earth react to a big quake uh, I would say more than likely all this got cut off See, Norway's got some interesting action. Almost looks like uh, what we see when we see volcano action and stuff like that. So, Norway's usually very solid ground. So, Australia again, as you see, it's starting to register. So, just popped over here to see the graphs real fast. And I'd say they're delayed, cut off because of possibly data feeds and so forth, phone lines. 8.8 was pretty good, damn big quick. And there you go to New Zealand. So, this is earlier of it just beginning to show up because you can see an 8.0 is going to would basically more likely do a lot of ink that we just see there for Taiwan than right now. So, Taipei. So, anyway, pop over the graphs. Be interested, go ahead and take a look. There's, there is a link up there for this. So, I'm going to hurry up upload this, and uh, everybody have a good evening. And watch New Madrid area in the United States, because remember, you see that we still keep getting action right there, okay, in the United States, and also West Coast, California, where it needs to be. But, I lived in California for 26 years, pretty much you travel uh, Highway 1, the coast, uh, I'd say most of California is pretty doggone safe ever since the 7.0 during the series a long time ago. So, anyway, later ladies and gentlemen, and there's your 8.0 quake, 8.0. Since it was 8.4, and we do have the data on it, I will list this as an 8.4 quake.